G'day guys, right here, your coffee coach. I'm here with Luis from Rocket in Italy, and he's gonna take us through the company, the backing of this amazing machine manufacturers from many, many years of quality, high quality products. I've been a fan of Rocket for many, many years, and it's great to have someone come over here who's a traditional espresso, you know, the Italians really know their coffee. That's why most manufacturing comes out of Italy. We've got some new machines on the block. So take us through Rocket, where it came from, where it's going. First of all, thank you very much for having me here. It's a truly pleasure. Uh, basically, Rocket is a focus on domestic range. That's how we started around 17, 18 years ago. And now we are covering the, the full range, domestic and professional range. We are taking the expertise on the residential machines. We use the expertise to also produce the bigger, bigger machine, all handmade in Italy. Yeah, that's a little bit our, our, our background. So the Apartamento has been around a few years now, and now you've created a new sort of version of the Apartamento called the Apartamento TCA. Tell us about that. The Apartamento TCA is an add-on on our range. It stands for temperature control adjustment, meaning that this machine now has potential to have more temperature stability and control. So you can have up to four temperature settings on the machine uh, and that will allow you to have more steam power or lower temperature for delicate coffees. And yeah, so it's similar to a PID in terms of it's giving you that same technology, the stability of the PID. However, you don't have the screen on the front to be able to adjust it. How do you adjust the temperature? Exactly, that's a good question. So the machine still have the a built-in uh, PID, that's how we control the temperature, but that's a new way of doing it. So Rocket is all about keeping the machine timeless. So we didn't add any extra switches or anything. We now have a new way doing operating the lever. Yeah, I can show you yeah. how, how to do it. It's about few steps. At the first game, see my looks a little bit more challenging, but it's all about muscle memory. So as soon as you've done it a couple of times, they'll be very intuitive and very easy to, to do. First, what we need to do is getting the machine switched off. It can be very early in the morning while the machine is cold, but also after the machine has got temperature, it can be done. So getting the lever on the brew position and then going to machine on. After five seconds, the machine will get steady yellow. So meaning it's on setting mode. Now the machine is flashing and depends on how many flashes the machine is indicating is translated to the pressure in the boiler. So as factory uh, preset is two flashes, one bar, can also increase by 0.1 bar. Now we do have three, means 1.1. And then if you want to increase it, you just go brew and down. And now the machine will give you four flashes, meaning we are in a high setting. So the way that we like to say is low, medium, high, and extra high. So those are the four steps. And then you can literally, you can take your time. If you need to sort out the grinder or forget it on the setting mode, it's fine. The machine will not erase anything. The machine will keep waiting for you to input everything that you need to do. That is so clever. I love that intuitive design for using the mechanical lever to just set things in the machine. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a new way of doing it. Uh, it's also exercise. It's the first time they were implementing that way. As I said, we want to keep this very clean uh, look and integrating mechanical and electronics all together. Confirming it, let's say if you want to go to the lowest setting, we can walk through, through all the steps. Now the machine should be flashing two times. One, two two times we can confirm getting on the higher position the machine will get steady red the next step would choose switching the echo mode on and off if you don't want to do anything you can just confirm that you're happy with the previous setting and then the machine will go back to the brewing mode that's so clever yeah brew of course depends on your setting the machine will ask you to wait a little bit to lower or increase the pressure in the boiler and then after it's steady, like white, yep. meaning that's ready to brew. So on the indicator, you can have up to five different colors that will translate to different modes or information that the machine is giving you. So blue will mean that the machine is getting temperature, like steady white will be ready to brew. If it's lacking water, it will be kind of a pink, uh, and then the green will be the echo mode on and off. Yeah. Other like design thing, I noticed there's a little bit of a change here to the E6-1 group head. Tell us a bit about that. Exactly. So that was a, a very interesting uh, exercise that this design 
was done by V12 Cometti. He's a very well-known designer in Italy that does uh, many, many different projects. And we were very pleased to work with him in kind of doing this facelift. So it's our iconic model, our bestseller. And that was a very good exercise of bringing a little bit more modern looking, especially using the E61 group. Apart from redesigning the, the chassis, the body, also changing the, the centerpiece of the machine, also that was a very interesting challenge. Now we have these sharper lines to also make sure that everyone recognizes as a rocket. So it will be very easy to spot that you actually are a rocket owner yeah. with this new group. Yeah, I love it. It really just brings a new element into your traditional uh, group head design and just a few features. This is looking very, very modern now and I love it because, yeah, a lot of uh, traditional Italian espresso machines, the E61s, are very, very same. Uh, like as in they all have the same group head design, they have the same square design, they have usually chrome flat sides. You've really gone a little bit more just in little areas like adding the little polka dots on the side, the R on the front, now this sharper edge here and obviously the handles quite unique in their own design as well. So you've kept it traditional but added elements of modern yeah point out very well i think is also bringing something fresh yeah. to the market it's stating as well the rocket is something unique in a way as well so you point out very well of course with the handles slightly redesigned even with the valves we did a very redesigned the valves making it a little more minimalist as well so it's all about yeah. small touches for the putting all together it will kind of bring a fresher look to the machine. Can you tell us in US dollars, do we know have a retail price for this? We haven't got the final price, I can see in euros. So we'll be around in the housing of uh, 1,500 euros, uh, 1,550 euros, depending on the model uh, and the market in what country. Very similar to the old kind of yes. uh, previous model, I would say, because what we want to do is bring in something fresh and new, but not literally increase too much the prices. So we want to add technology, add new features, but maintaining a very value for money. Yeah. That's our goal. Is this out on the market yet? Is this released yet? So in Europe, it, yes. So it's just getting the first units being delivered for our partners in Europe. In Australia, we are hoping by towards end of the year, just for the holiday season. Okay. So we have a very good timing. Yeah. So perfect. Around the end of 2023, which is fantastic. All right. Let's um, talk about the grinder a little bit, the Faustino. And you've got, looks like a new knockbox here. Exactly. So that's also a new product in our accessory range. Uh, that's the first knock box that we actually have in the market. Also a new possibility for the coffee lovers. Yeah. So there is a new R etched on, on the top, pocket holes uh, on the top. So where also you can get some uh, steam venting out. So we prevent that mold that, that, that it stays in there. But a very R design, you have a tiny rocket logo at the front uh, and also a, a, a nice rocket tag at the back as well, a traditional rocket tag. On the top of it, we have our Faustino, is our entry level, I would say, a do domestic grinder, 55 millimeter flat bars, ideally for entry level kind of users. So it goes very well with the apartamento, yeah, good combo to have. Also, you, you, you have the possibility to have the matching grind an apartment with the tiny holes on the side so yeah i love that it's really goes in line with that so you can have them matching and be a whole complete rocket family um let's take on to the next machine then sure. the Mofesiato. Motafiato, uh that's our very well known uh, machine that's a rotary version so Mozafiato r rotary pump very slick design with the straight panels Again, that has the PID screen, just hide it at the, at the back. That gives you pretty much a little bit easier to control the temperature, but very in line what we have in the new Apartamento TCA, but as a rotary pump. So you can plumb it in, have the possibility to also have that, or also using the tank on the top. Yeah, so. And so similar technology in the same integration that we've seen in the Apartamento TCA? As the temperature yeah. control, yes, because yep. that PID control, but here we have the hided yep. uh, screen, where it's gonna be slightly easier to an unlimited also temperature adjustment. So it can go by degree and give you a little bit more flexibility in that sense. Now moving on to the Fausto, the yes. bigger grinder. Fausto has been already in the market for a while. It's a very, it's a good grinder. Basically it goes from the Mozafiato R up, 
goes very well. Even with the Chico Auto, that's give you a, a lot of speed consistency as well. It's also shiny chrome or also available on black. So it also is a good match for, for this category. Our Chico Auto, our dual boiler machine, basically that has all the features that you actually will need. So you can have, I mean, already with the detachable uh, PID screen, you can set on and off modes, easily temperature adjustment, not only on the steam boiler, but also on the, on the brew boiler. So that can give you a lot of power if you want for steaming, but lower temperature for very delicate or any darker roasted beans, depending how you want it to play out and flavors you want to extract, they give you the possibility to play around and extract different flavors from, from different beans. And it still has the same like eco modes, versions. can you turn the steam boiler off and just have it going with the espresso brew boiler? It's very point out. So yeah, this machine has ability to switch off the steam boiler for energy reasons, or even if you just want to focus more on espresso, then yes, so you can play around. Yeah, I think in this current climate with the electricity going through the roof, people still want to have options of steam, but if you're mostly drinking espresso and long blacks, then you don't always need to have it boiling away steam, 100% of the time consuming a lot of energy, so you can turn that off. Is, is there any, is it a hassle to turn off? Like, is it like a big deal to turn it off? I know there were some other machines, not rockets, but in the past that had this function with the uh, steam boilers but they burnt a lot of elements out so hopefully that's not a case with your machine here no with our machine is very easy, straightforward process through the screen you can switch on and off very easy uh, and already the machine is already designed for that feature anyway so we have no complaints so here is we have the faustino basically it looks very similar to the faustino but that sits in between fausto and faustino so that's kind of the newest as well in the market. Basically, we have the same burst configuration, but it's slightly powerful motor. Right. So it's a little bit more silent and powerful. So you grind, give you a little bit better consistency. Also has the push button. So instead of going to the screen, yeah. it, it kind of gives you a little bit more hands-free. So as soon as you activate it, it grinds for you. So it, it, it adds a little bit more convenience for the user. So is this a, like a higher model than the Faustino? Exactly. Yeah. So it sits on yeah, top of yeah. the high up on the, on the Faustino, correct. And then we've got this beautiful timber masterpiece here. Take us through, this is the R9, right? R91, correct. One. R91, yeah. correct. So that's our flagship model. Of course, here we are offering something even special in wood. Uh, also, you can have any stainless steel or black or white, different colors. But yeah, this is dual boiler, fully saturated group uh, and pressure profiling machine. So that's give you ability to also play a lot of flavors and, and notes that you can extract from, from coffee. And is it a digital uh, or is it manual? So like if I, every time it's similar, the paddle I use for dialing in the pressure and pressure profiling, can I save it? Is it like what part of it comes across to the digital side of it? So basically this machine has five preset modes is in terms of pressure and also a manual mode fully manual mode that you're going to be actually activating the pedal to drive the pump quicker or slower and also you have an option to uh, what we say the the perfect shot after you dial in and you run a manual shot you can save it and replicate it through as well that's a feature that's very needed in terms of if you nail that shot there's something that you very like it save it and you can enjoy that shot for for many times. Yeah, and I think that's super important because yeah, it's always the case of when you have a brand new 250 gram bag of espresso and you just perfectly dialed in, you worked your way through a couple of shots, perfectly find it. You want to just enjoy it without having to always tweak it. Maybe you can tweak it a little bit, but if you've got it in that sweet spot, run it out and then move on to your next espresso afterwards, yeah. Absolutely. It's a little bit like the convenience, right? Yeah. If you liked it, whatever you've done it, yeah. you can replicate it. And then of course you can also preset and have it like a easy to to brew as well modes with preset crashes. Yeah. And also it's a little bit convenient yeah. as well. Oh brilliant. Okay. And now we're gonna to get to try some of this coffee as well. So we're gonna go back down and we're gonna look at the apartment to TCA and brew some coffee on that. So I'm excited for this one. So let's go check this out. Oh, 
that's lovely. Yeah, that really is smooth, balanced, sweet, probably a little bit lighter, like I would have probably like a little bit heavier, but that's just because the coffee is so fresh, but that just made that coffee really nicely. Now to add some milk. Look at that, some really silky milk there. Like that steam pressure was beautiful. Like not too powerful, not overbearing. How many holes on there? Two, only two holes on there, so it's like really nice. Now I've got to try and pour some latte out on here. That's gorgeous, that's so juicy. Absolutely stunning, like texture, ease of use. Really loved how it felt making this whole process and the coffee is stunning. I mean, obviously at the end of the day, we're about making great tasting coffee. The Apartamento just allowed me to hone in on a really yummy, juicy coffee very easily, so easy to use. I ran the steam for a while, you can see I didn't lose any pressure and I still managed to make really nice silky milk I'm loving this. Well, there you have it. A fantastic manufacturer, a huge range of products, grinders and machines for any entry to professional prosumer, anyone who's interested in coffee and wants a super reliable machine. I mean, these are machines that will probably last you 20 plus years. And I know that for a fact because a friend of mine has a Rocket Giotto from 15 years ago and it's still going strong, still pumping out beautiful coffees. So this is a testament to this brand, to the manufacturing here. I'm so happy to talk with you, Lewis. Thank you so much for talking with me. And I'm Ryde, your coffee coach. And as always, enjoy your brew.